<laughs> Hi, dear friends. Yogi, Virendra Yogi. Dear friends, you will ask why you are laughing. Because I tell you, keep on laughing. Keep on smiling. Keep on being positive minded. Keep on being optimistic. Keep on thinking that you are becoming a person of your dream. Keep on believing in yourself. Keep your mind saturated with determination, commitment, passion and love. And keep your mind also aware of the facts that if you want to achieve certain great things in life, there are chances that you will have multiple failures. A lot of defeats will come, a lot of reverses will come. But you are a strong-minded, resolutely guilt, steadfastly holding to inner conviction that you will be what you will to be. Let failure find its false content in the poor old environment and the spirit is concept and it is free. Your willpower, it masters everything, it conquers everything, it really determines your fate and destiny. And never be impatient in delay but wait. And if you really believe that you are a rock solid with tremendous capacity for applied faith, then God will be coming to help you and back you. And you have to be ready to sacrifice everything else. Everything is possible for a person who is willing to stake his existence for the fulfillment of his dream. But initially what happens, some are very fortunate, they become very fast and very famous, but that can be flashed in the pain and they can fall again. But somebody like Michael, Michael Jordan, he was rejected from the basketball team from the school. He was crying, locking his room. Addition, Thomas of the addition. His teacher wrote a letter to the parents that he's the most stupid child, he's fit for nothing, and we are throwing him out from my school, our school. When Thomas of addition discovered the most valuable inventions, nobody did. And he found that letter, then he again locked his room and cried bitterly. So you see a lot of great people, they are depicted and portrayed and told by a lot of stupids, ignorant, indolent, thoughtless, making silly opinions that you cannot become anything. You can't do anything else. That is the easiest way for outsiders to say. But you should not believe that you cannot do anything else. You can do each and everything else. Your belief, your faith, your commitment, your determination. And don't worry for time. Everything comes at the right time, at the right moment, at the right place. But you have to keep on keeping on, persisting, never stopping. To strive, to seek, to find and not to yield till you reach your goal. What says Rig Veda and Vivekananda make it very popular? Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached. That's the spirit. Believing that you are going to become. Believing that today is not your day but tomorrow is coming your day. I know a child, she was born in a very educated class, as two parents, both from IIT Kharagpur and well placed in a central government in India, earning sufficient money and very fabulous and comfortable life. But these both were very dreamy, and particularly that Vendra Yogi, the parent of the father of that child, was much more ambitious. And uh, he loved tennis and he loved becoming world best. But he thought that it is very difficult in other education and scientific line to become Einstein Newton. But it is very difficult, not at all, in becoming in a sports. Because there is very less competition in sports all over the world. People feel insecure, they do not jump and swim in the ocean because of a lot of uncertainty. But there is a guarantee those who believe. All his parents push him in the schools. He won't be married at 17. Peace and Brass, Agassi, Courier, Steffi Graf, Serena Williams, a lot more great champions. They were pushed by their parents to become legendary tennis players. So Vendra Yogi and Vandana Sanyasi both pushed the daughter in tennis. But the child don't know the significance of their thought. And she liked to be a great educated person like Shakespeare, Milton, Tulsi, Surdas, Amir Das, Miramai. 
but the parents wanted her to be tennis champion. As a child, they were reluctant and didn't love it because unless they have passion for any objective in your life and make your passion a profession, then only you can become perfect in that life. It is now delayed, but now the child has realized the glamour, the beauty, the money, the name, fame, fortune, love and everything and the doorsteps of a tennis legendary player. She has put her best, but she has been delayed. And as she was reluctant and not putting her best, she got multiple injuries. Unfortunately, the child was in the hands of some coaches. The coaches has a very miserable childhood and the coaches used to tell something about the parents that parents post you. Parents torture you because parents wanted to be a CU best player like Peter Graff did to Steffi Graff, Boris Becker parents did to Boris, Agassi parents did to Agassi, Serena Williams father, Williams did to the Serena sisters, Williams sisters. So child really become timid and little coward and lack self-belief, self-confidence, courage, conviction, determination, passion. But now the child has realized that it was the fault of the child. You have to believe in yourself. You have to put your best. You have to work very hard. Nobody can make you. You are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. By virtue of the thought you choose and encourage. And your mind is the master power that Paul and Max. And you are supreme power yourself. You believe in faith, your courage, conviction. Making your mind very strong, strong-minded, determined, committed, resolutely filled. <laughs> Maybe you have become a little aged, you have become a little older, 22. This is nothing, that's very young age. Look at Sampras, he played longer. The modern time legendary great champion, Roger Federer is 35 plus, Serena William 37. So come on, it's never too late to become the person of your dream. But you really be passionate about it, you love it. The goal and passion should be a burning desire for you, obsession of your life. Make Master Mandela's partner. Hard ones in line with him, shake their eyes. Work very hard. Put your best, believe in yourself. Fall, but rise faster. Because all these great people have dipped multiple failures until they become crowned with great success. Eyes from the head to the finish. Always believing in yourself. You may fail, but you may succeed. When things are going wrong, the verses are dominating. It looks everything gloomy at night. You still remember that this is a cycle for every great people. Those who have not seen the darkest patch of the life, those who have not been defeated, they have never lived a glorious life. At least in 12,000 times. When Columbus made the greatest decision of all time to discover new land, he set sail with his shellers, years, months and months went on. I don't know their check days and months and time. And all these sailors become disappointed, discouraged. They wanted to kill Columbus. They wanted to retreat, but he said, no, we not perish, let your do or die. I will discover his belief and faith, his commitment, determination. He found you know, the America, he discovered America. Columbus did it, Copernicus did it, Buddha did it. Einstein did it, theory of relativity, total effect, gravitation was discovered by Newton. Those who sought the fount, those who knocked the door open, those who asked the answer. You are what you think, all that you are, resist your thought, with your thought you make the world. A man is as he think in his heart. A man is what he thinks all the law. A man's life is what he thoughts makes of it. If you think in positive terms, you get positive person. If you think in negative terms, you get negative person. And according to the result, the result is exactly directly proportional to your effort, your belief, your courage, your conviction, your determination, your passion, and your obsession to become the person of your dream. Ulysses was a poem written by Lord Tennyson. He said, Come, my friends. <laughs> Come, my friends. <laughs>